you're going to play it go from and go back down and play the first part one. You learned in part one, that's the second verse. So after you play, then you go back to the pre chorus, I'm the ghost of a girl. So now this one's more complicated. You still have a few of the same chords, but you're going to add on a few more. So it's the same first chord, and then you're going to go to same second chord. and then the same third chord. Now this is the tricky part. The chords are okay, but you have to move quickly to go with the songs because uh, in this part the chord changes um, with about every, like every time she says any word. <laughs> so you're gonna go from and then you're gonna go This is the same um, fourth chord. And then you're going to go to a new chord. And it is. And then D. And then. So. So it should sound like, and then there's an extra note in here. You're going to go back to this one and then start it all over with the first chord, second chord, and then just like we learned the last part of it, which is if you didn't remember. And then. So it's going to sound. Yay! For the chorus, it's the same chords, but the ending is different. play it twice. And then you're going to move to 
the next top chord. And play the last note. So the difference here, you play the first part exactly the same way, and the second part, the ending, you play the second to last chord twice and then move up versus going from this chord down to this one. So, once again it's So this part, you are going to play Oops, sorry. So, and the fingers I use. And then you play it again. Except the second time you play it around, when you play the last chord, and around this time I switch from um, instead of going the second time I go, and I bring in my second hand and I use these fingers, and about a second after I, I hit these two notes, I add in. You do one, two. Three, go back and forth and then hold that and then hit it again. And as soon as you're done, you go back. First chord. So I'm going to play with these two fingers so just so you can see. So, with actual fingering, you're going to play that twice, and the second time, you're going to pulse between the last chord. And then, you go to this chord. Down, this is middle C, and 
this is the very last part of the song. And, um, you're gonna go, it's the same thing you've been playing, just higher up. So. And once you reach this, this is the very last chord. Instead of just going with the last note, you are going to use the last note from there. And then you're going to use go up one octave.